right, guys, today we're gonna go over a reverse drop to hold. Reverse drop to hold can be done out of a waist lock, can be done out of a majority of things where your back is feeding to the guy. Brian White, my assistant today, has got me in a real bad spot. Hammerlock, which is a great hold and a great t-shirt. Let me just throw that cheap plug out there already. Uh, so when he's got me in a sweet hammerlock position, you can either go for the ropes, but if he's got you in the center, it's working out really nice and solid. We want to go for something a little cool. So what we're going to do is, first of all, guys, we always break the hold. Always break the hold. Don't ever not break the hold. What the hell? If he has that on, you drop down and cap it, you break your arm. And that's the whole point. That's wrestling. What we want to do, though, before we break this hold is step to our left. Because I want to feed his left side. So once we have his left, what we're going to do is elbow comes in. So our right elbow is going to break his elbow down. He still has control, but he only has it with one hand now. He ain't Hercules. What we're going to do next is drop that right knee down in a lunge position. Once we're in this drop that right knee down, our left leg is going to circle behind. So our shin is going to be across his instep. The bend of my knee is going to be into his bend of his knee. So as I turn and lay down, bam, I got him. Now, if you want, you can scissor that. You can scissor that if you want to go old 50, 60 stop. You can have it there. But you don't have to. It's just a, a variation. Now, to get out of these positions here, too, a lot of guys get trapped up because they have funny feet. Everybody's got funny feet now. I don't understand it with the most athletic kids in the world why you can backflip to your feet, but you can't get to your feet smoothly. Once you're in this position, what you're going to do is release and let that right foot down and then have a hold. You always have to control the body, guys, or it's not gonna work. You're gonna make mistakes if you don't control the body, his body, and your own body. So drop that down, but you have control of the leg. Bring that down, and then circle, maintaining control where you wanna go, okay? One more time, Brian White's gonna put me in a hammerlock. We'll do it at 50% speed. We don't have to go fast. None of these techniques should be done fast. You shouldn't do these fast. Do them properly over and over and over and over again to get it down to a friggin' science. First thing is step across, break down, knee down, and then drop. Once you're in that position there, you can grab control, drop it down, and circle. Now I have them in any position I want because I still got my body on top of his body. And that's what it's all about. And I know it sounds very basic, but reverse drop to hold is very hard to execute properly. Try everything properly. That's what I want. Proper skill, proper technique. Check this out, subscribe. Let's go, 61 and 61.